Good morning, ladies and gents. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we finally learned when Halloween event is ending, when zombies are leaving the game. And this is happening on November the 11th, so three days from now on at 9 a.m. GMT or 4 a.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. So um, right now I want to talk about this event. I want to talk about why people enjoyed it and why people haven't. Why community was literally split in 50-50. Some people were really enjoying the event and some people were absolutely hating. And we're going to talk about what good things came from the event and uh, how it can be improved in the future. So I have a small list of the things I want to discuss. Let me pull it up real quick. It's literally this. And uh, first of all, let's talk about the good things um, that came from the event. First of all, it's quite a unique event, in my opinion. First of all, we never really had zombies or such drastically different UI from Scavs. We had some rogues, we had some uh, bloodhounds, we had some new cultist bosses not long ago, but nothing unique like zombies. And first of all, I'm a big, I'm a big sucker for zombies, I'll be honest. Um, I love zombies, like whether it goes for Call of Duty kind of zombies or for the games like Days Gone. If you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend you check it out. Days Gone, one of the best games I've recently played um, on PC. So yeah, I'm a big sucker for zombies, and uh, I literally couldn't wish for anything else. Having zombies in Tarkov, it literally broke my heart in a good way uh, when I realized that that's the event. Um, so yeah, when the event started, I was really enjoying it. Well, we also got new areas with the event, which also lead to a good storyline quest. Uh, and I think people that are involved with Tarkov lore, people that really do care about Tark Tarkov lore, did enjoy this. Uh, because uh, zombies uh, appearing did make sense. We also managed to learn more about Terra Group Labs and the experiments they're making. So that's kind of cool. I also really enjoy the fact that the achievement is choice-based. So whenever, I mean spoilers, whenever you were choosing, it, whether if you want to go with um, therapist side or with Jaeger side, curing Tarkov, you couldn't do both of the quests and you couldn't get both of the achievements. So I think this is really cool when BSG give us choice of what we want to do. And uh, maybe in the, f in the future they can do choice-based achievements and on top of that they can make it a, a worldwide event. So for example, if more people went for option A, they get the achievement and then something else happens on top of that. I think that'd be cool. Like the prolongation of um, the choice base chain. Um, and yeah, I mean, I know you can reset your account and get the second achievement, which uh, a couple of people are doing. And... Um, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind it. I think that's totally fine that they do it. It's their choice. But I personally feel like the whole um, point of the choice-based um, achievement is missing if you can get both of them. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with one achievement, and I'm too lazy to get the second one to reset my account and uh, grind all of that stuff once again. And that, uh, uh, yeah, new AI is kind of cool uh, in terms of BG actually implementing new AI and working on it. Um, zombies being kind of clunky in terms of, um, I mean, I guess, I guess the AI itself in its base is fine, but zombies are kind of clunky when it comes to the movement. And we're going to talk about this a bit later when we talk about the bad aspects, um, of the event, but yeah, new AI, cool. We also got some new mechanics. Uh, we got some new animations. We got some new effects. For example, if you get, uh, infected, you get, um, uh, the dehydration, um, debuff as well as you get the red screen and uh yeah i think we haven't had any issues with those um, new mechanics so far so that's kind of great and also this is working as a uh, stress test i'm pretty sure bsg were testing out to see how much fps people would get how much uh, entities we could uh, play against without the server getting crashed so yeah that's a good thing all right <laughs> let's talk about the bad things First of all, I was really kind of disappointed with the fact that there is no rewards for the zombies. When you kill the zombies, you get like, what, 10, 10 XP, 20 XP per zombie, and uh, you cannot loot them. You also don't really have any quests, like kill 100 zombies, get one Bitcoin or something like this. I think a repetitive quest of killing 100 zombies and getting one Bitcoin, right, maybe more really like kill 200 zombies and get one Bitcoin would be fair because you spend so much money, um, so many rubles on buying bullets, mats, and everything else and when you kill zombies you get nothing in return so literally you're just money sinking um your rubles into the game non-stop and uh mm, not a big fan of that 
Also, zombies have too much HP, in my opinion. I think um, zombies should be one-tapped by any bullet in the game in the head. No matter which kind of bullet you're using, you should be able to one-tap them in the head. Uh, at least the first wave of zombies, you know, like, we play the game for like 5-10 minutes, that first wave of zombies should be one tappable with any bullet in the game, and um, the further you stay in the raid, maybe there's a new wave of zombies spawning, and they might have more health, that's okay, but yeah, overall, I think a lot of people complain about this. Um, zombies have way too much HP, it's too difficult to kill them, and uh, on top of that, it's been really inconsistent with hit registration and zombies movement, they are really fast, they do teleport through walls, they do teleport through doors, they open closed doors randomly, um, and also, yeah, sometimes you shoot them in the head and nothing happens. Uh, I actually have a moment right here which I can show you well, what, what to talk about. Um, I think it's probably this one. So, if you look, the zombies are literally just teleporting non-stop and it's really difficult to, to shoot them, to kill them as I said earlier, so yeah, things like this need to be worked on, needs to be fixed. And um, once uh, it's fixed, I think uh, events like this will be way more enjoyable, way more enjoyed by community. So yeah, some of the tweaks are definitely needed. I already talked about this point, too much money spent on bullets. Whenever you kill zombies, you spend a lot of bullets and you don't really make the money back. Uh, because there is no rewards for it. Um, I mean, there were some sideline side, side quests um, after you get the achievement. Like you can get thirty, you can kill thirty zombies on map X and get like thirty k XP and two hundred thousand rubles. But eh. Um, so yeah. Another thing is, it's impossible for new players to progress. I feel like during this event, if you're a new player, you don't have a lot of guns, a lot of uh, ammo unlocked. And um, even if you do have some unlocks, but you don't have a lot of things in your stash, if you don't have rubles, it's really difficult to progress through the quests, because once you go into the raid, you need to spend a lot of money on every single raid. Going in as a pistoling doesn't work, going as a hashling doesn't work, going in with uh, a shotgun and not enough bullets doesn't work either. I've had problems playing on my scab, because I would literally run out of ammo like within the first two minutes of my raid. I would spawn in, I would see zombies, they would attack me, I would go pam bam bam, I'm out of bullets, what am I supposed to do? Disconnect? Eh. Um, so yeah, and the other thing I would love to mention is probably pistol zombies because those guys are really freaking annoying. They can one-tap you across the whole map while doing some weird movement using a PM while not even aiming at you and you just get head throat from across the map from a pistol zombie. I mean, I don't know, dude, that, that felt really unfair and really unfun dying to them. Also, every single time pistol zombies hit you, you get a bleed. And once again, well, like once I was fighting zombies and there were a couple of pistol zombies around me, I had to take them down. And when I did, I had five heavy bleeds. Like literally three seconds, three second fight, I had five heavy bleeds. Uh, yeah, that was not fun. So I personally would take pistol zombies out or make them as inaccurate as possible. They should be a distraction, but they shouldn't one tap you from 700 meters away. Um, so more or less, that's... That's that's all I wanted to, like that's all I want to tell you about the event. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what kind of things you enjoyed. If you enjoyed the event, if you didn't, I personally did enjoy the event a lot. Even though there are some uh, negative aspects of it, I'm a big sucker for zombies. I love this event, man. So hopefully it's gonna come back in the future or stay as a permanent mode in Arena or something. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you sub to the channel to not miss any of the new videos, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, ladies and gents. Bye bye.